Hello everyone, this is Adam for realhomerecording.com and in this video I will review my brand new computer, the Lenovo Think Center M93P. And then there's also a model number after that that I can't remember. Off the top of my head, it's like 7,000 something US or something like that. I'll put that on the screen. Um, because there is a difference between this model and the slim design model. This is the mini tower and it is a, uh, it has a Intel Core i7-4770 processor, eight gigabytes of RAM, NVIDIA 620 graphics card, and let's see, a DVD burner, I know I'm missing something. Oh, one terabyte hard drive. That's the main features of this computer. Now, interestingly enough, computers, I, the last time I bought a computer, believe it or not, 2007. <laughs> so uh, just a few weeks ago, my computer finally decided that it was going to start burning. I think a capacitor blew and it smelled, my, my, the, my room my office just smelled like burning plastic and burning dust. And uh, I had to air it out for about two hours before that smell got... I, and I had turned the computer off immediately. As soon as I started smelling burning plastic, the computer was shut off. It was having... It. Anyway, so I had to replace my computer. Bottom line, I had to replace my computer. I ran it into the ground. And, welp... I love it. I love this new computer. Now, I will say this. My old computer, I had recently, just in January, installed a solid-state drive into it, and it became so much faster. Even though it only had SATA 2, which is uh, 3 gigabits per second, uh, or gigabytes per second for the transfer speed, it still was really, really fast. I mean, programs loaded up, Internet browsing was fast. Everything was fast on the computer. What does this have over the, the old one? Mainly video encoding. YouTube videos aren't choppy anymore. They, they were slightly choppy with my old computer, but they're no longer choppy. Even 1080 60p videos run smoothly. Video encoding. It, it used to be a five to one ratio. For So for a minute of footage that I edit, it would take five minutes to export. So five minutes was 25 minutes. 10 minutes was 50 minutes. 15 minutes was about 90 minutes and, and, and even longer in some st circumstances. That's to export the video. Then to encode the video, it would drop down to like three to five frames per second. With this computer, I'm now running between 20 to 30 frames per second with a medium quality encode, which is what um, which is what's recommended. So I could do it faster, and if I do it faster, it would it, it runs like 40 frames per second. But that's really the main thing. Um, again, video, the video speed. I can watch 1080 60p videos when I couldn't before. And um, I haven't played any video games on it yet. That's the one bad thing about this besides the power supply not being universal. And it, the power supply is only 290 watts, I believe, or 300 watts. Um, so, but that's okay because that, it's, a, it's actually a business computer. So if you run a business and you need to buy like 50 of these things, your electric bill w will be cut because of this, because it only requires 300 watts of power compared to even my old computer in 2007 came with a 400 watt supply. And then, and then when I upgraded it, it was 500. So uh, if you're looking to game on this computer, you might not be able to run the latest games and uh, you will need to upgrade the power supply, which by the way, it, it, you would need to buy an adapter for the motherboard in this computer because it's not a 24 pin, it's a 14 pin, like some kind of special deal. But, uh, and I'll, by the way, I'll put a link to that in the video description to, to for which adapter cable to buy. Um, it came with a one terabyte Western Digital Blue drive. Um, again, power savings. It's, 
I don't know what West, I think Western Digital Black is their their uh, faster, higher performance drive, but still really fast. The fan in this computer runs quiet. It's not as quiet as the new power supply that I I I had upgraded to, but that's because the power supply, you know, is is an aftermarket power supply that's supposed to be uh, to run quiet. But this is really quiet. Don't get me wrong. I'll actually. Yeah, you can barely hear the fan. Barely hear the fan. Um, so, I mean, like I said, for a business computer, not a, not a problem. If you want to upgrade, you can put a solid state drive in there like I did. Um, it makes it even faster. But um, it has, I had put a secondary drive in. It's. I'll show you the case on screen. So I, at the bottom of the screen, bottom right, is where I installed the solid state drive. And in the middle right there, where I'll put an arrow, that's where the secondary mechanical drive is. And then it looks like there's two extra 5.25 inch bays to put another DVD drive and possibly another, um, another hard drive. There are, I think, two open slots for the eSATA or the SATA connections. And I think there's two open, P there's an open PCI, like a, an old school PCI. And then there's the uh, PCI 2.0 times 16, I believe, um, available for expansion as well. So what I love about it, besides this, the speed, is that unlike other pre-built computers, this computer comes with eight gigabytes of RAM in one module. A lot of times they'll, if they're gonna give you eight gigabytes, they'll put two, 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 two. So you'll have four modules of two gigabytes each, as an example. Well, the problem is, if I ever want to expand on my RAM, I'm going to have to toss one of those modules out. Because this comes with three open modules, I can easily upgrade to 32 gigabytes of RAM, and I won't have to toss out the original module. Well, unfortunately, I was cut off because my camera battery died. That's why I uh, wish I was shooting with a production assistant. But anyway... Um, I was in the middle of talking about the RAM, and yes, because this has a single 8 gigabyte module, if I ever want to upgrade, I don't have to, to toss out any of my other RAM modules. Um, I'm not really sure what else was in the video that got cut off. I got, I got cut off in the middle of the review, um, but I will recommend this computer. I got it for $850 from a computer store that's on Amazon, which I'll link to. I'll link to the exact computer that I bought. And uh, the one thing, so the, the two negatives, or actually the, the three negatives, so the, the two negatives that about the computer itself, the power supply is only 300 watts or 290 watts, whatever. So if, you go, if you're going to upgrade the video card, which you will if you are a gamer, or if you use it for like encoding, uh, 3D modeling and things like that, then you will need to buy another graphics card. You'll need to upgrade the power supply. The power supply does not, uh, the, the, a normal power supply I believe has 24 pins on the connector that you connect to the motherboard. This motherboard has a 14 pin input. So you will need to buy an adapter cable, which I will link to in the video description. If I'm repeating things again, it's because, again, I, I, I had finished the video and realized the battery uh, cut me off. So anyway, um, the other negative thing about it, besides the graphics card not being that powerful, is it does not come with system restore disk. I had never came across something like this before where I had to burn my own... Uh, oops, wrong, wrong set of disc. Is this it? This might be it. Uh, yeah, here it is. I had to burn my own boot disc and my, uh, it's, it's three system restored disc on top of the boot disc. <laughs> now, I, I, I'm laughing because I had just bought Windows 7 and Windows 7 
only required one disc, the o the OEM version that I bought for a hundred bucks, which is now a, uh, a, a expensive coaster because it's tied to my old motherboard, which is now broken. Um, which maybe I'll maybe I'll ask for some pity from Microsoft or whatever because it was only like what. January when, when I registered a computer and I'd like to put it on my laptop if possible. Anyway, Lenovo did not include system restoration disc, which I'm going to take off marks for that to. And the other thing is if I'm going to be forced to make my own disc, at least give me the option to change the drive speed so that it's not burning at 40x or whatever it was burning at. I prefer to burn disk at a lower speed because an important disk like that, I would like to keep the errors to a minimum and I, I didn't have that option. Um, also, it'd be nice to let people know up front that you can't just choose the system restore button it will always require you to uh, burn a total of four discs. So I wasted a disc thinking that I could burn the boot disc, then burn the system restore, um, and it didn't say that up front. So anyway, marks off for that. I think that's um, kind of a slap in the face when you buy a product like this to to force you to... Oh, by the way, you can you only have one chance to burn these restoration discs. <laughs> so it marks off for that, but besides that, um, it's a great system, 900 bucks. Um, even if I would have paid 1200 hours, it's still a great system. Video encoding, playing back video, and my dog's scratching the, the, uh, the door now, so I'm gonna end this video as soon as possible. Um, I like it. I like it. It's um, my my inc my video creation life will be much easier that now that I don't have to wait for. Oh, I didn't tell you what the new rate is. So when I export videos now, if a video is one minute long, it takes one minute to export. If a video is fifteen minutes long, it takes fifteen minutes to export. No longer do I is it a five to one ratio or sometimes higher. So I know that. If it's a 20 minute video, it'll take 20 minutes to export. And then I have to encode it to upload to YouTube, um, which then takes between almost real time. It's like, I would say real time. So 1.3 X uh, about, cause it's like, you know, for a 30 frame per second video, it's running at 24 frames per second. Um, and that's about it. Like I said, my dog is scratching on the door. She probably has to be let out. So I'm going to wrap this video up and just say that I recommend this computer. I like it. I like the three-year on-site warranty. And um, uh, the, the negatives or the, po the positives far, far outweigh the negatives. This has been Adam for RealHomeRecording.com.